Tenses are grammatical forms used to indicate the time at which an action, event, or state of being takes place in a sentence. They help convey the timeline of events and the relationships between different actions or states. English language has three primary tenses, past, present, and future. Each tense can be further divided into four aspects, simple, continuous, or progressive, perfect, and perfect continuous, or perfect progressive. Here's a breakdown of each tense. Simple present. Used to describe general truths, habits, routines, or permanent situations. Formed using the base form of the verb, for example, I eat, he plays. Present continuous, present progressive. Used to describe actions that are happening at the current moment or around the present time. Formed using the present tense of the verb to be, and slashes slash are, plus the present participle of the main verb, for example, I am reading, she is studying. Present perfect. Used to describe actions or events that started in the past and have a connection to the present. Formed using the present tense of the auxiliary verb have, has slash have, plus the past participle of the main verb. For example, I have seen that movie, they have finished their work. Present perfect continuous. Present perfect progressive Used to describe actions that started in the past, continue into the present, and might still continue Formed using the present perfect tense of the auxiliary verb has slash a plus been plus the present participle of the main verb For example, I have been studying for hours, she has been working all day Simple past Used to describe actions or events that occurred and ended in the past Formed using the past tense of the verb For example, I ate, they played Past continuous, past progressive Used to describe actions that were in progress at a specific time in the past or to set the scene. Formed using the past tense of the verb to be, was slash were, plus the present participle of the main verb, for example, I was reading, she was studying. Past perfect. Used to describe actions that happened before another action in the past Formed using the past tense of the auxiliary verb had plus the past participle of the main verb For example, I had finished my homework before she arrived They had already left when I got there Past perfect continuous Past perfect progressive Used to describe actions that had been ongoing for a specific duration before another event in the past Formed using the past perfect tense of the auxiliary verb have plus been plus the present participle of the main verb For example, I've been studying for three hours before the exam Simple future Used to describe actions or events that will happen in the future Formed using will or shall plus the base form of the verb For example, I will call you later, they shall arrive tomorrow 
future continuous, future progressive. Used to describe actions that will be in progress at a specific time in the future. Formed using will be plus the present participle of the main verb. For example, I will be working at 9 a.m. tomorrow. She will be studying when you arrive. Future perfect. Used to describe actions that will be completed before a specific time in the future. Formed using will have plus the past participle of the main verb. For example, I will have finished my project by Friday. They will have left by the time you arrive. Future perfect continuous, future perfect progressive. Used to describe actions that will have been ongoing up to a particular point in the future. Formed using will have been plus the present participle of the main verb. For example, I will have been working here for five years by next month. He will have been studying all day by the time the exam start. 